Hello, brilliant people. It is Cynthia Painter here from Create Action Now. And today we're talking about the fact that you get what you focus on. So quite often we go through life wanting one result, but getting another. Now there's lots of things that can actually impact what you get. But one of those is what you focus on. So what I mean by that is that the things that we focus on, the things that we say to ourselves, the things that run through our mind, really are more in charge of us than we think. We might sit there and go, I really want to be able to achieve that over there. I want that car. I want that life. I want that weight. I want that success in my business or in my life. But we end up sabotaging or undoing it all. And that is because of what we focus on. This actually comes out of an old idea called um, RAS, R-A-S, which is our reticular activating system. Right? Now, what that means is you've probably heard the saying before of if you want to buy a red car, you all of a sudden see red cars everywhere right? That's because our mind can only focus on a small handful of information at any one time. So for example, we have, and look, the science is always different, we have about 2 million bits per second of information that comes to us. That's from the temperature, from shades of colour, to the things we hear, the things that are happening somewhere else, to the way the seat feels on your legs as you sit in it. All these things are bits of information. But we can only take in about 126 bits per second. Now there's a big difference there between what we get and what we actually can take in. And what happens is that our mind is, I like the analogy of like a telescope, right? Where we might be able to, if we look around, we can see this much, but we look through a telescope and we can only see this much. So there's a bit of filtering that actually goes on and that's based on our experiences, our values, our attitudes and so forth. This filters what, we're, what we actually focus on by deleting and distorting and generalizing everything else. And therefore, we then only focus on a small amount and that's what becomes what we then create. So I'll give you an example. You might be going, no, 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 but that's not me. I focus on things really well. Well, this is conscious focus and unconscious focus. Uh, and sometimes even to the point that we are not aware that we're doing it. So have you ever had someone come up and give you a compliment and you've sat there and gone, oh, no, no, but I actually did something. You know, I did all these things wrong. Didn't you notice I did all these things wrong? <laughs> right? And they're going, but no, no, you did these things right. No, 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 I'm no good at public speaking, selling, whatever it happens to be, right? Because we get what we focus on. So our results are limited. Um, now, other people might be able to see a better result. Quite often we are limited on what we actually output because of that. So you might say, look, I'm not a great public speaker or I'm not, I'm really big procrastinator. Like I'm, I've had people tell me they are the best procrastinators in the world. Well, when you focus on that, you are going to disregard anything to the contrary, right? Otherwise, you'd be living in conflict internally. If you sit there and believe your identity is I'm the num you know, A1 world's number one best procrastinator, you could get through a to-do list and you're going to wipe that off as a once-off, right? Because you're really, and you can tell me all the times when you've procrastinated. Right? So you get what you focus on, right? Is this resonating? Any little bells going off? Sound familiar? Okay, so we all do this. How do we change that? There's a few things. So one is just general awareness. So the fact that you're now listening to this or reading along and hearing this says that you're now going to switch things up a little bit because you're going to have a little bit more awareness. The next thing is to have real conscious awareness of on a daily basis, maybe doing some journaling or reflecting at the end of the day. 
what did I, what was my intent for the day? What sort of worked and what didn't? And you're going to notice some of the things that you say to yourself, some of the things that are being rattling around in your mind that are getting in the way. Because usually it's our language that is a really key indicator of what we're focusing on. Um, particularly if you say big definitive things like I'll never, I always, everyone thinks. Right? So these big definitive words really get in the way of what we're going to be able to achieve and what and shows us what we're actually focusing on. So then you want to be able to look at your language. So we want to change your language. So you might say things like, um, the word don't. Now, the unconscious mind, our mind doesn't really process negatives that well. So if you say to a kid, don't run, whatever you do, don't run, what do they do? They run. Great idea, mum, putting that in my head. So what we want to do is not use don'ts. <laughs> we want to say it the way we want it. So the way that we change our focus, one of the ways we change our focus is say it the way we want it. So it might be walk. Be careful and walk. Um, or I am being more successful every day. Or I can make this happen. Or I'm learning how to do this better. Right? So catching our language, changing our language to say it the way we want it. Now, I'm not talking about doing affirmations like, you know, in the 1980s and so forth. And we look in the mirror and say, I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Right? Because if you don't believe it, it's not going to necessarily work. Right? So, yes, we want to say it the way we want it. And then we want to notice what are the beliefs and things that we're saying behind that that we need to then deal with. So you might notice that as you're saying that, it's like, oh. No, 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 everyone realizes that you're no good at what you're doing, or I'm just an imposter, or I'm not good enough, or I'm not worthy, or all these little things that might be nattering away in the background. You want to grab that stuff. You want to notice that stuff. And those are the things that we can start changing. Now, these are things I can work with you on. If you're wanting help with this, put comments in below. Let me know. Reach out to me. This is what we can do because we can actually change those limiting beliefs. You can start by get, getting conscious on actually noticing what you're focusing on, noticing what you're saying, and noticing the things that are coming up when you say it differently, right? And actually building that conscious awareness to then create the change and change your focus. So, like I said, if you want some help with this, let me know, comment below, and we can book in a time to work out what's going on and how I can help you best. Right. But between now and then, I look forward to seeing how you show up more consistently in your business and get what you want to focus on. All right. Bye, everyone.